This question will need you to do some math. Stay tuned. Okay, a cell is connected to a resistor of resistance 3 ohm. So cell and resistor. The current in the resistor is 1 amp. You know, they didn't give us a picture. So the best thing to do if they didn't give you a circuit picture is to draw the picture. Okay, so we draw a cell to one resistor. Is there internal resistance? Oh, there is internal resistance. Okay, so we gotta draw a tiny little internal resistor and give it a little dotted box to show the cell. Okay, resistance 3 ohms, current in the battery is 1 amp. That's pretty big for a battery. Second identical resistor is added in parallel. Oh, so there's a change in circuit. So that's the original one. Now we add another one, so let's draw another circuit. In parallel, the current becomes 1.93 amps. Now the thing that I'm not sure is, is this 1.93 the current through the resistor or current through the whole battery? There's a difference there, you know? Because, you see, if I say 1.93 is this, that means it will split into half and half. So 1.93 divided by 2, 1.93 divided by 2, that's half and half. But then, I don't know. What do you think? You know, let's just try out the question, then we'll decide. Okay, let's do with the first thing first. Here you got an EMF E. R is your internal resistance. How do you find an equation for the first scenario? Let's write it down. So, we need to find E and R. There's two unknowns. So that probably means we need two equations. For the first one, E is what we have, is our EMF. What are the potential drops? Current I times R plus current I flowing through not just the resistor, but also internal resistance. So another potential drop there. This is Kirchhoff's law, by the way. We can simplify this a bit. I R plus R. Very nice. So we don't know what E is. Never mind. We know what current is. is 1. We know what big R is. That's 3 plus R. <gasps> I don't have enough information. How? I don't know E. I don't know R. Okay. So that means I need a second equation. This will be my first equation. Okay. So the second one is, is 1.93 through the main battery. I don't know. Let's figure out. Okay. So let's try it. If, if 1.93 is the current through the battery, that means when it's split into the junction, it will be, let me see, what is 1.93 divided by 2? 0 0.965. And here will be 0 0.965. This current got a split. I mean, it's the same identical resistor. 3 ohms here, 3 ohms here. Okay. I feel a bit sketchy, but let's try it out. Okay, so if this is the original, what is the potential difference here? Can you find that? What is this one? VIR, V equals to I times R, it goes to 1 times 3, so 3 volts. So it means the terminal potential difference here is 3 volts. When you have this one here, if we assume this case, the terminal potential difference will be 0 0.965 times 3, 2.895. Hmm. Okay. Seems plausible because when your current increase, terminal potential difference should decrease because more lost volts. So that's how I check to make sure I'm thinking correctly or not. Okay, so I think we can do the same thing. There's a few ways to do it. I'll show you one of them. Actually, I'll show you the other one as well. The first one is to think of Kirchhoff's loop. So if you want to do Kirchhoff's law, E equals to current flowing through the external resistor. How about that? So one point, sorry, external resistor. One of them only, because we're only going to go like this. Kirchhoff's loop. We draw a loop like this. So the thing that goes through the bottom one will be 0 0.965 times 3. Oh, we already found the PD. Plus the current through the internal resistor, which is actually 1.93. Current through the battery. So 1.93 times 
What is R? We don't know. Let's just leave it as an unknown R right here. Okay, so now we have E equals to, what is 0 0.965 times 3? Oh, we already wrote that down. 2.895 plus 1.93R. We have two unknowns, but don't worry. We can use equation 1 to substitute away some values. So I think I'm going to substitute away R and calculate E first. So E will be 2.895 plus 1.93 times r. What is r? I can rearrange this to be e minus 3 equals to r. Sounds good? Okay, let's do that. e minus 3. So from here, I'm just doing some, some maths. Gotta, you can skip this part if you feel like, oh man, it's too long. Yeah, I'm just writing out everything to make sure I don't make any mistakes. So 1.93 times 3. What is that? 1.93... 5.79. Okay, now we can calculate. So, this should give me a value of, let's see, what's 2.895 minus 5.79? It's negative, but that's okay. Oh, we get 2.895. Very nice. This will be 0 0.93e, which tells me that e should be. What's E? 2.895 divided by 0 0.93. 3.11 volts. There. What is the answer? Oh, we already have the answer. Very nice. They save us the trouble. So yeah, you can use the previous equation up here to find R. Now that you know E, it's called simultaneous equation. So 3.11 minus 3 will give you 0 0.11 ohms. So that will be this part. Kind of okay. I, I, I didn't put as much decimals as they did. So that's one way how you can do this thing. The other way, which may be a little shorter as well, okay, method two is method one. Method two t um, is the method where you need to combine your resistance first. <clears throat> so you kind of like simplify, combine, la, let's say combine the resistance of the two resistors, which will be 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 equals to 1 over of the total combined resistance. So you're basically saying, I don't want to deal with so many parallel resistors. Let me just combine them into one. So if you do this, you will get 1.5 ohms as your total external resistance. Then you can use your E equals to IR. So E equals to what I, what R. Hmm, let me show you the circuit. I also draw for draw it for you down here. So now you have simplified your circuit to be something like this: your cell and just one fat combined resistance of 1.5 ohms. Then you can say E equals to so the current is just 1.93, right? Okay lah. So your current is just I times R plus R. So you did simplify a bit. So E equals to 1.93. R plus R. Okay? It's kind of the same thing, but sure. You can write it out. I'll write it out. Okay, sure. So 1.93 times 1.5, 2.895 plus 1.93 R. It's good to know both methods. Lah. You see, you kind of get to the same place here. All right? So I'm going to stop there. But yes, there are a few methods to do this, circuits, but make sure you know how to solve for two unknowns. Okay, that's the trick of this question. It's unknown and it's another unknown. You need two equations. So make sure you draw your circuits, solve your math here, and you should be good. All right, so any questions, any doubts, just comment below and try it out again by yourself. See you in the next question.